Welcome to another episode of CNC Season 2, where we profile some of the many adventures you can experience on the Carolina coast. With the warming sea water matching the spring air, May is prime time for fishing action. And there's no finer fishing action than the gloriously colored and prize fighting wahoo that frequent our waters year round, but school together and more tightly at this time of year, and especially in fall, when their aggregation off the Crystal Coast is world famous. Stay tuned to part two later in the year, but for now, we thought we'd offer you a snapshot of what it's like. And as you can see, we are no strangers to these fast and furious fish. Enjoy. Wahoo are one of the prize fish to catch offshore. And they're not just off North Carolina. When I was younger, we caught them on both sides of the African coast, and they were our primary target when we lived in Southeast Asia. But to many surprise, North Carolina can top them all in both numbers and in size. For many years, North Carolina has boasted the second largest wahoo ever caught, weighing in at over 150 pounds. And over the course of the year, several boats in North Carolina catch wahoos over 100 pounds. But the wahoos that we catch tend to run from 25 to 40 pounds, but 60 pounders are not uncommon. At this time of year, wahoos are making their way up the Gulf Stream. It's typical to catch at least one or two on a day offshore. But like I said, in the fall, it's possible to catch double-digit weighing wahoos on a Gulf Stream trip and have all fish you catch be over 40 pounds. You'll have to wait for our second wahoo video to see a trip like that. We're so lucky on the Carolina coast to have a wahoo fishery that is protected by good fisheries management practice. Year after year, we have good wahoo fishing, largely because fishermen obey the rules and only catch what's legal. Wahoo are smart and selective, so you also have to know what you're doing. As fish stocks plummet in other areas of the world, hopefully they can take North Carolina for an example and share great fishing experiences with their children like we are able to do here. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also check out our website, www.c-nc.org. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.